destroyed careers. I'm here today to again apologize for the personal mistakes I have made and the embarrassment I have caused. Leaked photos. But just tell me definitively, is that a photograph of you? We're trying to find out the, where that photograph came from and whether it was manipulated, whether part of it might be from something that, that was in my account. Minors. Anthony Weiner was sentenced to 21 months in prison for video sexting with a 15-year-old girl. Today's story will cover one of the most dysfunctional men in American political history who threw away his life over the compulsion to send lewd images of himself to women over the internet. And the craziest part of it all is that his actions ended up tilting the scales of the 2016 election, making Donald Trump the President of the United States. Our story starts in New York with a young man with a zeal for politics. Anthony Weiner, a Brooklyn native, attained his BA in political science in 1985. Shortly thereafter, a prominent congressman, Chuck Schumer, took the aspiring political junkie under his wing, mentoring and helping him further his political career. In 1991, at the age of 27, Weiner became the youngest city councilman in New York City's history. By 1998, he ran for Congress, winning the election and filling the seat previously held by his mentor, Schumer. During his long tenure as a congressman, Weiner was known for his fiery and passionate speeches. We see it in the United States Senate every single day where members say, we want amendments, we want debate, we want amendment, but we're still a no. And then we stand up and say, oh, if only we had a different process, we'd vote yes. You vote yes if you believe yes. His constituents saw him as a man who would fight tooth and nail for the people. And so he easily won all his re-election campaigns with a large majority of the votes. Weiner was also known as a ladies' man, seen courting several high-profile women, leading voters to speculate over who would take his hand in marriage. Then, in 2010, Weiner married Hillary Clinton staffer Uma Abedin with Bill Clinton officiating the wedding, and soon after, they had a child. Everything seemed on the up and up for Weiner. He was married, he had a family, he was a successful congressman who seemed to be deemed for greatness. The Senate and possibly even the presidency were in store for him. But that's when everything fell apart. The real focus of today's video begins in May of 2011, when people noticed that Anthony Weiner shared an explicit photo of himself on his public Twitter page. He replied to a 21-year-old college girl's tweet with a link to an image hosting website known as Why Frog. The picture in question was a photograph of his underwear in which one could see the outline of his penis. He swiftly deleted the tweet, but the damage was done, as this single post would set off one of the largest controversies in U.S. politics. The nationwide scandal went full bore when the right-leaning journalist Andrew Breitbart published Wiener's Wiener images on his blog, immortalizing the lewd act. Anthony went on the defensive, claiming that someone hacked into his account and that maybe the image started off as something shot by him, but that it had been doctored to appear worse. During this time, a conservative group that went by the name Hashtag Born Free Crew began to observe Wiener's online actions and sought to dig up as much dirt as possible on the carnally minded congressman by reaching out to women he interacted with on Twitter. One girl Wiener followed was Nikki Reed, a 16 year old student who wanted Wiener to be her date for the prom at Hollywood High School. The Born Free crew got in contact with Nikki's friend, Marianella, who claimed to have information on the ordeal. But their quest was misguided, as it turns out that neither of their profiles were real people, but rather catfish accounts. All the documentation that Nikki provided to prove that she was legitimate, from her address to her driver's license, turned out to be fake. Despite being a dead end, the Born Free crew would uncover that at the same time Wiener was falling for catfishing trolls on Twitter, he was also sending lewd images to many real women as well. This dirt conveniently fell into the hands of Andrew Breitbart, who soon after published the new findings that Mr. Wiener was not hacked, but rather had a penchant for taking lewd photos of himself. One of the most infamous of these showed him topless, with others not released as they were too explicit for his sight. While too edgy for the news, they were perfectly acceptable for the radio talk show hosts Opie and Anthony. Breitbart showed the controversial duo the salacious Wiener photo 
photos under the agreement that they wouldn't show them to the public. The problem was that a security camera caught his phone's screen as he pulled them up, leading the host to leak the footage to Twitter soon thereafter, angering Breitbart and further embarrassing Anthony Weiner. The congressman could pretend no more. He finally admitted that he sexted multiple women and that the accusers were all telling the truth. Now that he admitted to these misdeeds, his fellow Democratic politicians began putting pressure on him to resign, including President Barack Obama. And on June 21st of 2011, Weiner officially resigned from Congress. In a matter of weeks, the man who might have been the next president of the United States was now publicly known as a pervy and dishonest politician. Now I'll be looking for other ways to contribute my talents to make sure that we live up to that most New York and American of ideals. But Anthony wasn't done fighting. Dejected, he spent a year away from the public eye to recover before making a bold attempt to rehabilitate his image and start anew in politics. Congress might have been out of the question, but there was another important office he could run for, Mayor of New York City. Weiner began his mayoral campaign in 2013. He profusely apologized for his dishonesty in the past and promised his constituents that he had learned his lesson. These past mistakes were behind him, and he was now a changed man. Bringing his signature adore to the primary debates, Anthony was able to reframe himself as a white knight for the people of New York. And surprisingly, citizens of the Big Apple were quick to forgive him for his past sins. He surged in the polls and quickly became the front-runner candidate. It seemed like the position of New York mayor was in Wiener's reach. But just as soon as he got a taste of his newfound success, it was promptly taken away from him. As it turns out, Wiener was not keeping it in his pants as he promised. We'll learn more about this after a brief word from our sponsor. For thousands of years, it appeared to be a fact of life that most men would lose their hair as they aged. But thankfully, we live in the modern age where keeps could help with this problem. The great thing is there are clinically proven treatments out there that will help with this problem. And with keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right treatment plan for you. Then the products will be shipped directly to your door every three months. And if there's ever a problem, your keeps doctor is available 20 24-7 to answer questions. I really do respect this company for coming out here and informing men that there is something they can do about their hair loss. Just remember that prevention is key, and the faster you get on these FDA-approved medications, the more hair you can save. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com gfm or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com gfm. In the summer of 2013, Anthony Weiner was riding high, leading in the polls to be the next mayor of NYC. It seemed that his comeback was successful, but things would soon change when a website called The Dirty published lewd images that Anthony Weiner allegedly took of himself and sent to a 22-year-old woman under the alias Carlos Danger. BuzzFeed soon outed the identity of the anonymous accuser, a Midwestern woman named Cindy Leathers. As the story goes, Sydney and Anthony came into contact through Facebook. She reached out to him, telling Weiner that he was her hero, only for him to betray her trust with his lies and scandals. Weiner responded to her heated message, and they quickly began an intimate internet relationship. Leathers claimed that Weiner would call her up to five times a day for phone sex, and would regularly ask for pictures of her in high heels. Whatever her motives were for sexting with the married man before promptly leaking the story, the result of the news was immediate. This new scandal caused Wiener's popularity to plummet yet again. In a short span of time, he went from frontrunner to dead last. Adding fuel to the fire, Leathers went on a media tour to share as many details as she could, appearing on Fox News and The Howard Stern Show. Are you angry with him? I think I am a little bit angry with him. What pissed me off was him on the campaign trail saying, oh, I've changed and trying to act like he has this perfect marriage now and everything's just peachy. The hypocrisy got to you. Yeah, I was like, bullshit, I am proof that you have not changed. Once again, Wiener found himself in the middle of an embarrassing national scandal. 
On the day of the primary election, Sidney and other protesters waited outside Wiener's office and later the restaurant in which he would give his election speech. Goaded by Stern, Leathers wanted to confront Wiener about his wrongdoings as well as finally meet him in real life. Wiener did everything he could to avoid her, which included running through a McDonald's with his security team. She didn't get to confront him face to face, but the damage was done. He lost the race. And political troubles aside, it worsened the rift between him and his wife. Rumors of a possible divorce floated around as Uma appeared less and less inclined to defend her husband's actions. As a result, an adult film company called Vivid approached Wiener's mistress, Sidney Leathers, about starring in a a porn parody of the situation. She was hesitant to accept, but after a few photo shoots, she agreed to star in the film that would become her breakout role in the industry, entitled Sydney Leathers, Wiener and Me. So just as Wiener lost his career due to this fiasco, the woman that brought him down gained one. And once again, Wiener disappeared from the spotlight, as his redemption arc was squandered. The disgraced politician wouldn't be mentioned again until the 2016 presidential election as his wife Uma was hard at work as Hillary Clinton's right-hand woman. Even then, he remained quiet, allowing his wife to pursue her ambitions. As long as he didn't get himself into trouble, things would be good. Unfortunately, Wiener wasn't finished with sending sexually explicit photos to women on the internet, instead upping the ante this time around. In 2016, the New York Post ran an article showing a lewd selfie that Wiener had sent to yet another lady. This image was different from the others, though, as his own toddler son was in the photo with him. The story was soon proven factual, and with Uma already under intense scrutiny over the election, she decided to separate from him the day after the story broke. Little did she know, the worst was yet to come. Later that year, on September 21st, the Daily Mail reported that Wiener had engaged in yet another illicit sexual relationship, but the twist this time was that it was one with a 15-year-old girl. In response to this article, the FBI and the NYPD began investigating Wiener to see if any misconduct had occurred. And this is where he finally, without a doubt, ruined not only his career, but the careers of everyone around him as well. You see, leading up to the 2016 election, Clinton found herself in the middle of an investigation and a major scandal due to her use of private email servers for government-related matters. Trump used this scandal to paint Clinton as a threat to national security or worse. Ultimately, nothing came of the investigation for Clinton, except being called careless by FBI Director Comey. That is, until during this investigation into Wiener, when they seized his laptop and found emails between Uma and Hillary Clinton that reopened the email investigation. A major scandal at the time that disadvantaged Clinton in the polls. Due to this discovery being only 11 days away from the election, it's possible that this reopening of the investigation cost Clinton the election. Hillary herself seemed to think that was the case, stating, There are lots of reasons why an election like this is not successful. Our analysis is that Comey's letter raising doubts stopped our momentum. After destroying Clinton's presidential run, Wiener pled guilty to one count of transferring obscene material to a minor. His wife filed for divorce, and the judge sentenced him to 21 months in federal prison, three years of supervised release, and he had to register as a level 1 sex offender. He spent 18 months in prison and rejoined society on February 17, 2019. But now, as a public disgrace and registered sex offender, it looks like he no longer has a shot at the political glory that was once in store for him. A question that many ask themselves is why would Wiener continue this self-destructive behavior? Was it not enough that he lost his congressional seat and his bid for mayor? An interesting thing that he said in the Showtime documentary about himself entitled Wiener is that he viewed these online relationships in the same way he viewed video games. He didn't view any of it as real, but as Sammy Classic Sonic fan once stated, your actions have consequences. In this case, making Donald Trump the president of the United States. So where are the crazy characters from this comedy of errors 
offers now? Well, most recently, Wiener publicly considered selling the initial nude that brought about his political downfall as an NFT, garnering a considerable amount of public backlash. Sidney Leathers retired from acting in pornographic films in 2017, and now works as a community manager for a company called Spankchain, which aims to pay sex workers in cryptocurrency. Uma continued working as Hillary Clinton's right-hand woman, recently publishing a memoir detailing her side of Wiener's many scandals. When on Fox News recently, Sean Hannity asked the broken man if he had changed after all of his inappropriate behavior, to which Anthony Wiener would not give a definitive response. It's crazy to think that one man's degenerate actions resulted in Trump becoming president. But in an election as close as 2016 was, that does seem to be the case. And with that thought, I think I'll end the video here. So until next time, thanks for watching.